Hi and welcome back. This is part 5 of modelling a monkey in Blender. So we've already modelled our monkey, we've set up the light system and we've also added a camera to our environment so that we can do a render. So the next thing that we're going to do now, if you just have a look, if we do a quick render, we'll see that Okay, we'll just give it a second to do the render. We can see that we've got our monkey. However, the scene has yet to have any colour. So I've got pretty much everything is grey at the moment. So I'm just going to click on the Back to Previous tab, which is going to take me back to my original working window. And I'm going to keep working with this split window at the moment. Although I'm going to make the camera size a little bit smaller for the moment. Okay, so it's not too intrusive in our work environment. Okay, so let's start to get down to adding some materials to our monkey. We're only going to add fairly basic materials to our monkey for starters. So I'm going to right click to select the body of the monkey and then I can go over here to the materials panel. Now the materials panel allows us to create textures um, and solid colours for our body. For starters we're just going to add a solid colour. So we can see here in the preview window that we've got a grey here. If I click on the grey down the bottom it brings up a colour wheel. It allows me to start to adjust the colours and adjust the colour of my body. So I might set it say make his body say a lime green okay something like that okay that's good and then if I click on the head we'll see that that's a separate object so I haven't got a color yet so I'll click on new and I can set a new color for the head so I might set it say to uh, kind of bright bright pink okay good Okay, so we can see here that the two objects have got uh, different on the body. So we've got a pink head and a uh, green body. And let's have a scroll down now and have a look at some of the different settings that are available here within the um, materials properties window. Okay, the first thing that we've got here is we've got a transparency. So if I turn down the transparency here, we can see that if I check the box, I've got the ability to make the things transparent. So, um, and if we roll up, we can see what the preview is doing. We can see it's solid at the moment. But as I turn up the, okay, I'm going to click on ray trace as well here, and I'm going to start pulling up some of these. Let's start to have a look now. So we can see that the head's gone quite see-through. I'm just going to pull down a couple of these values. Just have a play with them. Let's see how they work for you. It's maybe going a little bit far. I might just come back down to my Z transparency instead of ray trace. Just so it's a little quicker. Okay, so I've just played with those settings, so you can see here that this um, material is quite um, see-through now. So I might move on to selecting the body now, and I'm going to come down here. We can see that it only set the transparency for the head, so the, this is a different material on the body. And we can see down here, the next one we've got down, I'll fold up transparency. Let's have a look at mirror. So I'm going to turn mirror on, I'm going to turn the reflectivity up. And if we scroll up and have a look now, we can see that the monkey material is reflective and reflecting the environment around it. Okay, that's good. The ground needs a material, so I'm going to click on New. And I'm going to set the ground as just a really pure white for the moment. So I'm going to turn that alpha in this color picker right up. And the color picker just disappears when you click away. Okay, so we've got starting to get there. I'm going to do a render now. It's going to take a little bit more time because the c program has to do more calculations. But, okay, good. So we're starting to see some reflectivity of our, of our model there. That's good. So I'm just going to go back to previous. Okay, that's good. And we're going to have a look at a few more settings just to tidy things up a little bit with our with our model. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the world settings 
and I'm going to come down here, I'm going to turn on a blend sky and I'm going to turn the horizon to a white ok, that's good I'm going to turn the top, the zenith colour, which is straight above your head, I'm going to turn that into a sort of a blue something like that is fine so this is approximately what our background is going to look like now um, and I'm also going to turn on ambient occlusion and multiply, ok that's good so that gives us a little bit more of a, um, a smooth render and lighting effect so let's go render image now OK, so here we go, so we can see that we've got a reflective body and a monkey with a see-through head and you can see that we're starting to get some light in the background there as well. OK, that's good. So I'm just going to go back now. Now that you've seen the ability to make things transparent, I think with my monkey head, I'm going to turn off transparency on that. So I'm going to go back to the material for that and turn off transparency, that's good. OK, and I'm just going to pretty much now leave it as it is. Yep, it's all good. That's fine, so I'm just going to get ready to do a slightly larger render now. So I'm going to, I can add this image up to my wiki. So what I'm going to do is look at my camera, which is my render settings. And I can see I've been rendering at 1920 by 1080, which is high definition format, but we've only been rendering at 25% of that size, so that's why the render's been quite small. So all I'm going to do now is I might dial it up to about 75% for good size, and I'm going to hit render image. 